and welcome back to the linguistic show welcome back we've been gone for a while but we have been busy thinking of different segments working on getting some amazing guests lined up and also thinking about some new topics Mm -hmm. got some new stuff and cooking we've been in the kitchen cooking them up we've been in that podcast studio kitchen right so so some of those topics are Keeping your family out your business. Oh my goodness, man! Because that's definitely a learning lesson. That very important. It doesn't matter how long you've been married or whether you're dating still, married, divorced, whatever. Y'all can learn. Y'all can learn something from me about what not to do, and, and also Keep how it affects out of grown folk business. And also how it affects your partner, because mm. that's. Grown folk Something business. Something that we can speak grown on. Grown folk business. Stay out of grown folk business. What up? So, oh, man. What was one of the other ones? Oh, yeah. So, speaking of being married and dating and divorce and all of these other various different things, you know, uh, when you do select your partner, you want to make sure that they're complimentary to you. And so, that's one of the things that me and Carol uh, talk about quite often amongst ourselves. And I, we thought that that might be an important topic as well to just kind of go over the different ways that couples can be compatible and why that's important. It's about being complementary to each other, not necessarily, um, you know, being on the exact same thing all the time. That can get boring. So so would you want to take it back to the 80s? So is it like Paul Abdul, two steps forward and two oh steps back? Because opposites attract. So is it more like opposites or I don't know that it's an opposites attract, but it's <laughs> okay. compliment it's okay. complementary. It's thing. complimentary. <laughs> it's like when you have a team, you gotta have people who can do this thing and people who can do that thing so that we can get all the things done. You know what I mean? So complementary pieces, pieces that work well together. And and on the real, I mean, I already knew what you meant, but I was trying to find any way just to like put that song. Just to give me a hard time. Not to give you a hard time. I was trying to put that song. Because I have the video in my head now. With the cat? Yes, oh with the cat. God. Yes. Mm-hmm. So those are two of the topics. We also talk about um, getting getting married at a, at a young age mm-hmm. and also some of the things that our parents did and did not teach us about being a wife or a husband mm, that prep man yes. yeah some you you would hope that people would prep you we for would things. hope but mm. i was prepped for life but not prepped on how to be a wife and the, i that rhyme too. That was not a purpose. Oh man, that was you just made. A... You should see the smile on this woman's face. She just made her night by yes. rhyming just now. Yes, we are laying in the bed during this episode, and I am so happy that my rhymes just come without me even thinking about them. Mm. And you got your <laughs> you look at me like that. And so those are a few of the topics, but we also want to make sure that we keep our TLS fans and audience. Why you? That's the acronym. Oh the linguistic show. You got T R L for Carson Daly. It doesn't call it anymore. And hey, I was about to say, what are you talking about? We don't have total Total Request Live. They don't even have videos no more. Oh. MTV don't even have videos. Okay. Well, well I, 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 Oh like, goodness. Guests. Oh, thank you. The guests. Yeah, the guests. Yes. So we have some great are you some So uh, okay, so y'all See how we get off new, tra- new segment. <laughs> There's gonna be some new segments. There's gonna be some guests. We're gonna have some different uh, different opinions in the house. Some new voices, different things, but we're gonna keep it spicy. Yeah. So those are just a few, and we'll be back when fall starts, which is actually next week is when fall starts. Okay, that's what's or is it Thursday. I think it's Thursday. It was this week. I really do think it's somebody had said something about that today. There's only two days left of summer, so you better get it while you can. 
if that's what he meant, because when I when I heard, that, I was thinking, no, it's a week in two days. He's mm. wrong. I'm, I'm Tucker, oh. Tucker Barnes. You just gonna then you go put that man <laughs> out there on the podcast. That's his job. He's a meteorologist, and you just put that man out there on the podcast like he has to be wrong because you're right. Oh man, I love my wife. So mm. we hope that you enjoyed this this mid season preview of what's coming up. Mm. And we'll be back with you real soon. In the words of Jason, he would say, "I see y'all later. Enjoy thank you for life. thank you for coming. God bless you. Good night. If you can't be good, be careful. Oh, I'm- I, I just keep doing different ones until you stop." This has been an Ashangali Enterprises production, co-produced by Naomi. Music by Brassville. 